I would say that my father sparked my interest in science and engineering. And we had a basement in our house. And uh, when, when Dad saw my interest uh, in electronics, he said, uh, son, the basement is yours to use as you wish. Mom gave me my human perspective and to dedicate my life, if I could, to improving in whatever small way the human condition. And it just shows to me what a parent can do for a child and how um, they can nurture a child in unexpected ways. I was so uh, supremely fortunate to be their child, supremely fortunate to uh, go to Duke and follow in my father's footsteps, and supremely fortunate to have the opportunity to work on this particular problem. I learned a lot about how exquisite the hearing mechanism is, and I became uh, fascinated uh, with hearing. And then I got my first job at the Research Triangle Institute in the Research Triangle Park, and one of my projects there was to work on a device for deaf persons that would provide complementary information for lip reading, not through hearing, but through vision. And through that project, uh, I became most interested and uh, empathetic for the problems that uh, people with severe losses in hearing or uh, deafness encounter. Reinstatement of useful hearing for uh, deaf people was regarded as a fool's dream, utterly impossible. But in retrospect, the fools persisted and made the impossible possible. One of the decisions early on was to donate all the uh, NIH-sponsored research on cochlear implants to the public domain. And the concept was that any great advance then would be incorporated by all of the companies and thereby uh, benefit the highest possible number of uh, users of uh, cochlear implants. We began our program at uh, Duke in uh, 1984. It was one of the first such cochlear implant programs in the world. And by the late 1980s, we had discovered a way to utilize those sites, multiple sites of stimulation, far better than before. And so today, more than a million people have received uh, a cochlear implant on one side or two cochlear implants, one for each ear.